let's talk about inserts. Now, if you're like me, I make both junk journals and mini albums. And after a while, I just find you're on autopilot, you know, you're kind of like, I need to make some inserts. What do I do? Um, so I have a few inserts that I like to come back to all the time. I adjust them according to whatever theme I'm doing, but you know, they fit into just about everything with some minor tweakings. So this book I'm working on right now, I need a bunch of inserts in here. So what I am going to show you is one of my basics. For the next couple of videos, I'm going to go over a few different inserts that I have created over the years that I always come back to just so that uh, you have a few new ones in your arsenal. And uh, maybe this will help you, especially when you've got a little bit of creative block. You know, for me, when I get down to the end of the book, I'm making the inserts at that point, And I find sometimes I'm a little burnt out. So having these in the back of my mind works out perfectly. So I can just go on autopilot, use up my scraps and make these inserts. So this one here is four by six. Again, you can adjust this up or down accordingly. It's a very simple insert. It won't take you long to make, but I think it's kind of cute and effective. So this one here, you just pull the circles, open it up. There's a pocket here, two flaps joined by a little bit of fabric. Close it all up. And on the back, you could put another pocket or whatever, but I'm also using bits of pieces from my uh, books to create this cute little uh, insert. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So like I said, it is a four by six um, insert. So you're going to cut one piece four by six. Now you can do the straight onto pattern. Um, I'm actually using some funny enough, some scrap paper that, uh, didn't, uh, die so well as my base. And then I will cover it up. So I've got one piece that's four by six. Now for the, the front part, um, obviously it's going to be four by six. So what I did is, is I cut it right down the middle. So it's two by six, two pieces, two by six. And for this little, you know, pull closure or pull tab or whatever you want to call that, I basically took two circles. You could do just squares. You could do, um, oh goodness, you could do file folder tabs, um, whale punch tabs, whatever you want. But for this one in particular, I did two circles. Um, ooh. Get my measuring my measure stick my ruler um these are two and a quarter inch circles i just have a die cut that i use for these so it works out perfect so i cut two two of those so inked up all my edges um you don't have to it's just my thing so i'm going to take my circles and i'm just going to fold them right in half and i'm just going to oops, furnish them Right down the middle of both and if you do want to ink this point would be where you'd ink ink your edges uh, your middle crease I should say so I'm just gonna do that like I said this is quick little inserts but uh, I find they're effective and you can use them over and over again uh, for any kind of project just adapt the sizing and the theme Okay, so there is only one tricky part, which is lining up your circles, which I have to admit, I've done them a couple of times, even when they haven't lined up right. Um, it is what it is, but what I do is, is you want a little space in between your uh, cover here so that it will fold closed nicely. So all I do for this is you could either put a paper gusset in here, um, or you could do what I'm doing, which is, is I've got scrap pieces of fabric. So all I'm going to do is you can do wet glue or you can do tape. But because I'm going to stitch these, I'm just going to use tape for a temporary hold. And I'm basically running it down the, the sides of these pieces just to hold my fabric until I can stitch them down. So just a thin, this one's like uh, less than a quarter inch, down each side. 
then I just took strips of fabric. I just happen to have lots of fabric around. So you need two pieces, approximately the length of your card, which is in this case, uh, six inches. And I think these ones, oops, uh, caught up. I think these ones are about half an inch strip. Not very big. You could do bigger. You could do smaller. Um, totally up to you. But I'm just going to use... Oh my goodness, I'm sticking everything this morning. Alright, so I'm just going to put them in with a little gap in between. It's not even a quarter inch. Less than that, but just so that it folds, you know, nicely. And I am just going to... line this up so that you can see I've got the gap in there my fabric strip oh, I'm not even very straight today fabric strip in but in the middle just making a hinge basically so that it's good so there's the one and use my pokey stick I'm off of this side and again, if you don't want to sew this, I would just glue this, you know, your Fabri-Tac or whatever good glue that you've got going on. So I'm just going to put this down the middle here, flip it over, make sure you've got your spacing, which I do, which is perfect. Okay. So I'm going to stitch this after I put my uh, decoration pieces on. You could do it now and then stitch your papers on top or not. It's totally up to you. Um, so the next step is just you're going to take your circles. And I've decided I want it to open this way. I'm going to have this as the middle. So just give it a good creasing. Keep it flat while you're working. So what I do is, is basically crease these circles up really good. And they're going to slide in here. I find if I slide that in, it's just easier for me to, to line them all up, as you can see, like that. So basically, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And again, I'm going to stitch these down. So just a little bit of glue to hold on these ones. Um, the reason I'm doing glue here instead of tape like I normally do is because I want to get these lined up and I need a little bit of movement space in here so I'm just centering it in here so you can see there's the one half of the circle down there and this here on the crease so that I've got my handle to pull open and you're going to do the same thing on the other side now this is why I use the wet glue here because you want to line this up and I need some time here to make sure I got it lined up so line it up got my wet glue and again this back circle part here when i stitch everything in will be in if you're not going to stitch i would just glue it really well so there is your base for your card here you know not not too hard at all so then what i do is i'm just going to decorate it up so this one here I've already started. I just used some paper. I matted this. Um, and this one you can see here, I didn't line up very well. But that's all right. It's still going to work. Not too worried. But you can see why um, uh, the wet glue is better. I taped these. And then when I opened it up, I realized I didn't have it lined up right. And I couldn't do it again. So it is what it is. So I just basically, I'm putting in some of the papers. I've got some embossed uh, book pages here. I've got uh, some scrap papers that match the uh, papers from the book that I'm doing. And I've done it on both flaps. And then for this one here, basically, I've just done the same thing. I've kind of collaged, but I put a, oh, that would help, a little pocket here. So I'm just going to secure this down. And again, I'm going to be stitching all the way around. So I am just going to run a piece of tape down the middle to secure it enough to hold it so I can stitch. All right, so I'm just going to do that. And the back side, which I have this piece here. 
Again, I'm using just little bits that are left over from my projects, which are perfect for these inserts. Um, this way you could put a journal card on here if you want it as well. Um, inside I've got pockets. Totally up to you what you're, you know, if you feel you need for your project at this point on out of your insert. Um, if I'm doing a mini album, sometimes I will just put a little uh, picture frame there so that it's, you know, they can put a picture on. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and stitch this all down and I'll be back to show you how that turned out. All right, so I've stitched all the way around. Uh, inside, outside. So now you can see I've got my pockets secured down here. I've got my bits so I can embellish some more if I need to. Now for this part here, on this one, um, you can leave it plain. Just to open up or in this case what I did is, is I did a dragonfly and a little bit of cheesecloth on the one side and if you've messed up like <laughs> like I have here sometimes that's a, a good way of hiding whatever it is you've uh, mistake you've made I've just got a couple of journal cards I think I'm going to use that um, you know you just hide your Hide your mistakes, then it's not really a mistake, right? I'm just going to get a piece of something here. And lots of times these bases, when I'm done a project, you know, lots of times you've got little, you know, small pieces like this left over. And I don't want to waste them. So I will make these bases for these inserts. And then all you have to do is just grab them and mat them and embellish them. But you've already done you know, the hard part ahead of schedule. And I think I'm just going to add a bit of the cheesecloth. Ooh, you can probably hear my desk is so full of stuff. I'm in the middle of the project. Well, actually, I'm not in the middle. I'm near the end of the project. And uh, I don't like to clean my desk up until I am done because then I try and use up as many bits off my desk before I finish. Let's see here. And make sure when you are gluing this that you don't glue it straight down or you can't get in. Um, I have said I have done that before. So basically you just got to make sure you're gluing the one side here. So I'm just going to flip that over and I'm just going to do a little slight pencil mark so that I make sure I do not glue past that side and you don't want to do it over the circle either actually I'm going to flip that over and get a little bit more glue on this side Perfect. all right make sure I'll just make sure I'm in secure so that way when I close it up you still got your pull tab and then on this one here because I put a pocket you know you got spots for you know a tag a couple of little journal cards you could put a little mini envelope in there do I have one in this book let's see here don't think I have one but you could just put a little mini envelope in there yeah I don't have one left in this project anything to tuck in that pocket and then it just closes up if you wanted to to make sure that the closure was really secure you could either put a piece of velcro underneath here and you have to open it up or a magnet um totally up to you but you can see the possibilities for this are endless you've got one more little quick insert that you're able to add into your projects you can change this up accordingly however you want um alter the sizings it's not a big deal once you've got your base it's just a matter of cutting your front in half and uh doing a flap closure on there hopefully you like this please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe um, following my basics, uh, back to basics, I'm doing, a, like I said, I'm going to do a few more different inserts. Just so you know, you'll have a few of these ready on hand for your next project. You can just zoom through 
the uh, project without having to worry too much about what you're going to add to the inserts. You've already got them pre-planned, pre-done and easy to do. Um, if you have to created some of your own, I'm going to post these on my Facebook group, uh, Hearts Desire by Venus. Feel free to come on over to the uh, Facebook group and post what you have done. I would love to see your creations. Um, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And have yourself a great day.